Welcome back inside the league. Brian McFadden and I hanging out with Lorenzo Alexander, the Pro Bowl linebacker of the Buffalo Bills. And don't look now, but the Bills They're holding right on to that sixth spot in the AFC if the season were to end today. But it doesn't end today. So that means they got to go up and take on the New England Patriots on Sunday. Yep. So, Zoe, i got to ask you, what's the number one thing you guys got to do defensively to s- slow down QB12 and that Patriot offense? I mean, the biggest thing is make him uncomfortable. Obviously, take him away off of, of Gronk, his first option, um, and really just be consistent. I think last, last time we played them, uh, we held them the field goals in the first half, and then the second half, they started scoring touchdowns. And against a team that's well coached like that, you can't allow them to get up on you like that. Well, so when you, you talk about the first game, like you said, the final score does not say how well you guys matched up right. against the Patriots in the first half. And watching how they performed against the, the Pittsburgh Steelers this past Sunday, we know Gronkowski, he means a lot to right. Tom Brady. What are your thoughts about finding a way to try to neutralize Gronkowski and force the other players to make plays? Yeah, I mean, that's what you have to do. I mean, obviously, you got to take the stars away and make uh, the other players on their team, you know, rise up to the occasion and make the plays. Uh, you know, as far as Gronk, he's just a, such a big uh, mat- mismatch for most teams. Uh, you got to be able to bang him around and then also have a guy that can run with him. So we're going to have to probably have to do a little combination of the two, you know, whether we hit him at the line. Uh, I think Trey did a good job on him last time. You know, he had an interception on him. Uh, he did give up a ball, but, yeah, I mean, you're going to have that when you play against one of the best in the league. All right, let's talk about Tredavious White and Rob Gronkowski. Obviously, the past history there. He has said, Tredavious did, that, hey, I'm not going to take any cheap shots. That's not the way I am. I'm going to play the game the way it's right. supposed to be played. But how do you guys collectively as a defense kind of let bygones be bygones? Because that's got to be tough knowing what he did to White a couple weeks ago. Yeah, of course. I mean, I don't know if we're going to let bygones be bygones, but we're going to play within the line of scrimmage. I mean, so if you have a shot on him, a clean shot, I mean, you're going to attack him. You know, you're going to be extra physical with him. Uh, but we're not going to go out our way where we may hurt the team, creating a penalty or not doing your job just to kind of, you know, chase him around, trying to get a get a lick back on him. I think ultimately what we want to do is win the game, uh, and that would be huge for us. And, uh, you know, putting ourselves in a place or a position to get into the playoffs. Yeah, winning the ball game, I think that would be the ultimate revenge for Tredavious, uh, seeing what he went through. When you look at Tom Brady right now, Zoe, you played a lot of football in the National Football League. But where is Tom Brady right now in his com- career, based on what you've seen from him earlier in the season? Uh, I mean, he's one of the best. I mean, he probably doesn't have, you know, the arm strength or, you know, the athleticism that maybe they may have had earlier in his career. But he's so smart, gets the ball out of his hands really quick. I mean, he sees all the coverages. So like most veteran players in this league um, that have played for a long time, you may lose a little bit, you know, physically, but you make up so much with your mind. And with him um, and with the weapons he has, especially with Gronk, he's just real decisive with the ball, has great pocket presence, um, and continues to make the plays he needs to, um, you know, whether it's early in the game, driving down to win the game, he's continuing to play at an elite level. So I've got to ask you, too, one more about Tredavious because he's broken out some uh, rather intense dance moves on the sidelines during timeouts. Is he a better dancer or corner? Way better corner. I mean, <laughs> the trash. I don't know what he's out there doing. These young folks these days don't know how to groove. <laughs> so I don't, I mean, he's all off beat out there. I don't, I don't know what it is. I, can't, I don't know what dance that is. Somebody hey, can help me out. Hey, Zo. I know, I know you're an old school guy. You're straight from the West Coast. Maybe this week, right, we're going to be watching the game. You know, you make a big-time play, a sack yeah. or interception. Yeah. Can something. you break us something now? Give us something. Can, can we see okay, you hit a sea walk or something Coast, like that? Oakland swag. I'll give you some of that, you know, that hype movement stuff that we used to do back in the day. All right, Zoe, make sure you don't – don't forget, Zoe. We're going right. to be tuning in. No, I won't. I won't. I won't at all. <laughs> we will be watching. We cannot wait to see what happens on Sunday when the Bills take on the Patriots. Zoe, we always appreciate the time. Lorenzo Alexander, Pro Bowl linebacker of the Buffalo Bills. Thanks again. No, I appreciate you guys.